Hello everyone, Harvey from Elixir Node here, and today I'm going to be explaining to you the recommended amount of RAM you should have for your Minecraft server. So, you've decided that you want to host a Minecraft server, but now you need to decide on what amount of RAM you need. But before you do that, head over to our 3 tiers 3 cheers page, which is linked below and on you can see on screen. Where you can get a detailed comparison of our three tiers that we have here at Elixir Node. Bargain, Premium and Deluxe. Which are the most value for money hosting that you can find on the internet. Now once you've decided what tier you want for your Minecraft server. It's now important to choose the perfect amount of RAM for you. RAM is really important. And the more you have the more opportunities you will be able to do with your server in terms of plugins and players. And in this video I'm going to be giving you some general recommendations for what each amount of RAM entails and some info on how to choose the best amount of RAM for you. However, do keep in mind that here at Elixir Node you can upgrade or downgrade your server's RAM at any time with no hassle or any data loss. I'll show you how to do that at the end of this video and we also provide unlimited players, plugins and mods on all of our hosting packages. So you're only going to be needing to look how to calculate how much RAM you need. So when it comes to knowing how much RAM you need, one of the most important factors is the server version that you're on. More recent versions, like the one I'm on here, 1.18, are a lot more RAM intensive than older versions. I've put on screen here a chart that we've made showcasing the amount of RAM you need for a server with a version below 1.12. There's a good rule I like to follow in this case is that for every gigabyte of RAM that you add, you can have 10 more players and 10 more plugins of mod, and 5 gigabytes of world storage also. For versions like 1.8, a server with a little bit of RAM can go a really long way when it comes to the amount of plugins and players. This is because any version that is 1.12 and below is very RAM efficient, which is unfortunately the opposite of any version of 1.13 and above. So when it comes to 1.13 and above, you'll need much more RAM to be able to host players and plugins. There are some latest requirements for the most recent versions of Minecraft when it comes to RAM. So for 1.15 to 1.17, you should have a minimum of 5 gigabytes of RAM. And for 1.18, there is a minimum of 8 gigabytes of RAM. So once again, as you can see on screen, there is a chart for servers that have 1.13 or above. And as you can see, you need a significantly more amount of RAM in comparison to 1.12 and below. So feel free to pause the video if you need to, because this is to ensure that you are not at risk of experiencing lag or resources being fully taken up. Also for the newer release of Minecraft, you should have 1 gigabyte of RAM for every 2 gigabytes of world storage instead of 5 gigabytes. And this is the exact same if you're looking to create a bedrock server, as it requires the exact same amount of RAM as 1.13 and above. And when it comes to proxies and bungee cord, there is some recommended values for that. So bungee cord requires like very little amount of RAM in comparison to the game servers, because all it does is roots players into the appropriate server who connect to it. So unless you're running a bungee cord with well over 400 players, one gigabyte of RAM is plenty for your bungee cord proxy. And if you're using lots of plugins, then a little bit more couldn't hurt. If you'd like to know how to upgrade and downgrade your RAM, please follow this article which is in the description, where we show you how to upgrade and downgrade it, and our system will automatically calculate the difference just for you. And of course, RAM isn't the only thing to take into account when running your Minecraft server. There are many other things like I mentioned before with the three tiers, which provides better hardware as you go up in the tiers. You also need to think about reputability of public plugins that you use and the resourcefulness of the custom plugins that you create. And we've also made another article on the best free and premium plugins. So head into our description where you can see our top 25 free and premium plugins. Or if you need any support at all, contact us through the link on the screen. Thank you for watching this video from Elixir Node and goodbye.